What's going on, people? This is Terrell Andretti, and I am the Narc Nemesis. For those of y'all that are watching me on YouTube, I want to ask that y'all hit the like button, and I want to ask that y'all please subscribe to the channel so y'all can be updated when I drop more videos. Um, I'm going to dive right into this. This is the illusion of the discard, part three. Now, a lot of y'all are going through the discard phase. Um, y'all are in shock, y'all are in awe, and y'all are looking at the new supply or the back burner supply that your ex-narcissist is with, and you might be puzzled because they probably don't even hold a candle to you and what you offer as a person, whether it's looks-wise, financial-wise, um, emotionally, uh, whatever characteristics that you know you have, they might not hold a candle to what you have going on. And it leaves you wondering, wow, this person left me and went to this? Like, are you kidding me? Or I look like this and you went and picked somebody like that? Or I had this much money and you went to somebody who has this? What's going on? Why am I not good enough? Why is this, you know, why is this happening? And this is exactly, there's a couple sides to this. First of all, that's exactly what it's meant to do, make you question yourself, and it's a further attack on your self-esteem. It's meant to make you question yourself, it's meant to make you question your value, it's meant to make you question your worth, because it's a natural human reaction. If you see somebody and they go pick somebody who, in your eyes, you perceive as not the same quality as you. So it's gonna make you ask questions and it's designed to do that. Because, I'm gonna give y'all another gem, a narcissist doesn't offer you closure on purpose. Because what's gonna happen, like I told you, the title of this video, The Illusion of the Discard. The discard is an illusion, it's not real is meant to do more damage to you than it is about them moving on. But I'm gonna get back more to the direction of this video. Um, like I said, you're looking at this new person, you're pissed off, you got questions, you don't understand because that person doesn't match up to you at all. I'm gonna tell you why. Like I said, when a narcissist first meets you you are the grand prize to them they won the lottery they feel like they're the luckiest person in the world um they notice your traits they notice your characteristics they know they notice your talents and remember what i told you about them mirroring you in the beginning guess why they had to mirror you first of all it was to get you drawn in and to get you invested to thinking you found a like-minded uh, individual. Secondly, in order to get somebody that is the caliber of who you are as a person, no matter how you're feeling right now, remember I told you the narcissist low-key admires you. They admire your traits, they respect your characteristics because nine times out of ten you're an outstanding person you're a loving person you're a talented person you're an empathetic person or whatever so believe it or not when a narcissist meets you they feel like you are out of their league did you get that i'm gonna say it again when a narcissist first meets you you are such a catch to them because of how they view you and how they admire you and how they pedestalize you, you are out of their league. So how do you get somebody that you perceive to be out of your league? You either try to fit in with them and make yourself on the same level as them, which is where the mirroring comes in to make you think that you know, you, you found somebody that's on the same level as you, or you don't try at all because they're out of your league. 
And we all know a narcissist just can't help their self when they meet grade A supply like you were to them. They can't help their self. They can't pass up on this opportunity. They can't pass up on this great person. They can't pass up on your benefits. You think they not finna try? So what do they have to do? They have to act like they're great too. So let me tell you something. They done devalued you guys so much that y'all are missing the point. The narcissist was underqualified to deal with you in the first place, which is why they had to mirror you. They had to mirror being a decent person. They had to mirror being a loving person. They had to mirror having characteristics. They had to mirror having traits and talents like that just to be in your presence just to talk to you because honestly if they if if they would have showed you who they were in the beginning like without the mask who they really are most of y'all if y'all have a sane mind y'all wouldn't want anything to do with them like most of you don't now they were underqualified to deal with you do you get that they had no business with you in the first place. They had no business being blessed with your conversation, your love, your touch, your body, your compassion. They had no business receiving it, and they know it. That's why they got to treat you the way that they do. They got to they gotta convince you that you're underqualified to be with them. That's why they devalue you. That's why they discard you. That's why they play these mind games, because a, a healthy person, if they felt like they were of caliber with you, they don't need to play mind games to get you. They don't need to play mind games to keep you because they're confident in themselves. They're confident in their ability. So did, did y'all get that part? They were underqualified to deal with you. So now let's go back to this new supplier, back burner supplier, whatever they're dealing with. Why y'all see them and it looks like they may have downgraded the crazy thing they didn't truly downgrade get this y'all ready for this when they go and they the new supply is somebody that's levels beneath you it's because the narcissist had to go back or had to go deal with somebody who matches who they really are. I'm going to say that again. The narcissist had to get with somebody who matches where they are on an energy spectrum. A low vibration, another low vibrational person. Nine times out of ten, if somebody don't look good, they got low self-esteem. They don't have that many requirements. They don't have to put in so much work. Are y'all following me? They don't have to do so much to please them. They don't have no integrity. They don't have any honor. They don't have any, they don't require any respect. And a lot of y'all say, well, they make it look good on social media, this, this, and this. Okay, cool. But you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Case in point, how many people knew how badly they were treating you behind closed doors and it looked good on social media? See, a lot of us think the narcissist goes on and they're with this new supply and they're living happily ever after. You think they changed overnight? You don't get no peace in hell, which is exactly what they embody, hell. They got to go to somebody where they can work that game because you're too smart. You require too much. You require answers. You require them to be the best person they possibly can when it comes to treating you a certain kind of way. So they got to downgrade with somebody they can pull that shit on. To somebody that makes them, remember I just told y'all in the last video, devaluation the decoded. They have to be with somebody where they're up here 
and they're down there. So you started asking questions. You started not tolerating stuff. You started giving, you started pressing them. You held them to a standard. You hold that you held them accountable. That ain't in their nature. So they had to go to somebody who won't hold them so accountable because if they go get with this ugly duckling, the ugly duckling gonna be gonna feel lucky enough that they're even talking to them. So they can run that game on them. They can play with them. They can cheat on them in peace. Hell, the ugly duckling probably don't even give a shit if they cheating or not because they just happy to have somebody that might look like the narcissist because a lot of them are gorgeous, handsome. Which is why a lot of us put up with so much of that stuff. My ex-narcissist is gorgeous. I can't take that away from him. Gorgeous. But it's the devil in the flesh. Evil on two legs. That's why they had to downgrade. First of all, it's to make you question yourself. All of this is orchestrated. It's to make you question yourself and it's, to, it's designed to make you want to ask them. What do they have that I don't have? Are you following me? Because this is very detrimental to give some of y'all some peace. Thinking that new supply is, you know, anyway. Because if, if, if they look a hot mess, you got to think, okay, well, they left me for that. I must be a worse hot mess. I must be uglier than that. I must be broken than them. Nah, it ain't got nothing to do with you. Pigs only feel comfortable in mud. Thieves only dwell amongst other thieves. Killers hang around killers. Heartbreakers hang around heartbreakers. Holes hang around holes. Thugs hang around thugs. You can only wear a suit so long on a hot day. They couldn't maintain that. That's why y'all, that's why they hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. Because they can't maintain being the caliber of person that you are. See, it's natural for us to be stand-up people. It's natural for us to be loving people. It's natural for us to be kind people. Because it's in our nature. It's in our essence. It comes from in here. We're not emulating this. This is who we are. See, they have to mimic these things. They have to act. They have to emulate. What actor have you seen play the role forever? The movie has to stop sometime. At some point. When you're discarded, the movie simply stops. They're done playing that role. They're tired. So they have to go back to what they're used to. Mediocrity. Low integrity. No honor. Bullshit, excuse my language. They have to go back to that because that's who they truly are on the inside. They can't compete with you. That's why I tell y'all, y'all got more power than y'all think. Don't be jealous of that new supply. Because I'm going to tell you the truth. That new situation might be over quicker than y'all's. Especially if you're not asking them why. If you ain't checking in with them, if you ain't arguing back and forth with them, because that's what it's all about, getting power. But see, when you don't care, when you withdraw your emotions from that situation, they didn't expect that. So when they start hoovering, I'm going to give y'all some gems from another video. When they start hoovering and you don't answer, because they will hoover you while they're with that new supply. When they get to hoovering you and you don't answer, and inflict that narcissistic injury on them, oh, they pissed. And they can't regulate their own emotions, so guess who gets it? The new supply. And because you're not answering, they're getting angrier, they're getting angrier, and they're getting angrier. And if you know, when you inflict a narcissistic injury, what comes after that? Narcissistic rage. Now, you don't have no contact. You ain't nowhere in the vicinity, so guess who gets it? That new supply that they praise so much, that they triangulated you with so much. And see, they're so mad because you ain't biting on the bait. That new supply gets done 
worse than you did and faster. Because they need somewhere to put all that negative energy. Because you're not accepting it. You're not answering. You're not responding. That's why I say you got more power than you think. You think they living good because they put some pictures up on Instagram? It is hell in that house. And it is hell for that new supply. Like I said, the discard is an illusion. See, they have you thinking that they're the puppet master. You really hold all the keys. The keys is in your emotions. The key to defeating this thing is education. You educate yourself. I don't care if you gotta watch a thousand narcissistic videos a day, because I did hundreds of them. Trying to figure out what the hell was going on. But the more I educated myself, the more I understood, and the more I got my power back. You take away your emotions, you get your power back. The narcissist is putting on one big orchestration. None of it's real. Whether they go off and have kids with them or whatever the case is. So, they don't even love them kids. They can't. The disorder won't allow them to. You think because they went off and got me? No, they found somebody that'll put up with their shit. And it ain't you. And you thank God that it ain't you. Like I said, man, uh, y'all got any more video requests, y'all let me know. If it's something y'all feel like I didn't cover, let me know. If y'all are watching me on YouTube, y'all please like and subscribe to my channel. Once again, I want to thank all the admins for allowing me this platform to... Help as many people as I can and get my message off, man. Like I said, uh, if y'all are looking for some narcissistic recovery music, I do do music. I just put out a new song called Razors, and it's about overcoming narcissistic abuse, and it's on all platforms. It's under my name. Um, like I said, man, take your power back. It's all in your hands once you realize how much power you truly have. I wish y'all peace, love, and healing, and another day, another way.